Hey YouTube, the Infinite Draw here, and uh, I have another Bishojo figure for you guys. I didn't actually buy this one, like the last one, last couple that I've been reviewing from uh, Anime North. I had this from actually a while ago, and I just hadn't had time to review it. But since I was doing a bunch of uh, Bishojo reviews, I thought I might as well do this one. And it's uh, Alyssa Baskanovich from Tekken. Uh, it's a Kodo figure. Obviously, in Kotobukiya of Shoujo. And uh, I actually don't know where the box is right now. It's somewhere in my cupboard. But you guys know what the boxes look like. They're just white with uh, Shunya's illustration. And luckily, on the base, you can see the illustration right there. You can see how it stacks up. I'm not a huge fan of Tekken. Like, I really like the characters, but the fighting style. I'm more of a 2D fighter kind of guy. So I never really got into Tekken. But the characters are awesome, and the storylines are crazy. And uh, I saw this Alyssa Boskanovich figure, and uh, it looks pretty damn awesome. So I kind of, even though I'm not sure, I think she's like a half android or something, or full android, I'm not really sure what her character is like. But uh, yeah, I just had to get the figure, because the sculpt, and you know, I have a thing for red hair, and pink hair is like right up there. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, she is really cute, I gotta get her. And the sculpt is actually really, really, like, well done. You see her stomach is, uh, really well defined, she's really toned. And then her feet, her legs, her thighs, really hot. And like the little details like the, the, the socks or the knee socks or whatever, the, like the wrinkles in the socks. And the shoes and she comes pre-attached to the base she's actually screwed in I guess because they didn't want her toppling over since she's only balanced on one foot but uh yeah the detail of her shoes and uh there's her belt I don't even know if you'd call this a skirt anymore it's just like a belt with a piece of cloth coming from under it <laughs> that is the miniest of skirts and she's got some flowers there. It's a really nice detail. And her belt has like the little jewel on it with the, the chain hanging off of it. And her stomach is so sexy. Like really well done. Really nice sculpt. And then her clothing. The little hair. The little flower in the hair. And like I said with the, the uh, Harley Quinn. It's really, really impressive to see these figures. Like, when they're in fists, you can't really tell, but like when you see a figure that's relatively small, this is a 1 7 scale figure, with such really delicate hands, like spread out hands, it's really nice to see. So you just know the sculptors are really talented. But uh, yeah, there's the face again. She gets the same translucent hair effect as a lot of the Bishojo figures nowadays. There's her other hand. Her shirt is kind of translucent here too, so that's kind of weird, but looks nice. Zoom out a little bit. There's her thrusters. I don't know what those are. <laughs> like I said, I think she's like a half android or maybe a full android or something. And then they stick out pretty far. Yeah. Nice details. You see like the vents. I'm assuming it's like some kind of like jetpack or she's kind of like a Gundam, I guess. A really hot Gundam. And then her face is beautiful. Nice shiny eyes. Whoops. It's actually trying to get it into the light. Really shiny eyes, delicate features, small nose, little lips. All the, you know, classic Bishojo stuff. I'll just zoom out a little bit. It's a really awesome pose too, and kind of dynamic. The the way the her shirt or cape or whatever coat floats, and then her pose. Yeah, it's a really good figure. Like I said, I'm not a, the biggest fan of Tekken, but I really like the character designs, and uh, Alyssa is so far the my favorite uh, Tekken character release so far. Aside from maybe uh, 
Christie, I think it is. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.